Hey guys, Corey Haas here, and in this video, we're going to go over an app that took us over two years to create, the Bowshot Bible. The Bowshot Bible is the ultimate compound bow tuning resource, and it has over 40 high quality videos, over 50 very detailed and illustrated instructional pages, and many, many extras. With the Bowshot Bible, you will take your tuning and your accuracy to the next level. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. All right, the first tab we're going to check out is the Bow Specs tab. Just go ahead and click on it. Now you're going to pull up a list of manufacturers, and it goes pretty deep here. Um, these are both current manufacturers and ones that are no longer in business. But if you need to tune a bow, you're going to need that Bow Specs. So, for instance, we're going to go to Elite right here, click on that, and it's labeled by year. So, for 2020, we're going to pull up the Cure, and there you have the axle to axle measurement and the brace height. Uh, along with the IBO speed. So this is key if you get a customer's bow or if you have a bow that you own yourself and you need to know the specs. So the next uh, tab is the tools tab. Now here's uh, five tools that are pretty handy. The ballistic data tool, uh, you're going to input your information and you will get your uh, estimated arrow speed, your momentum, and your kinetic energy. Just slide the sliders or touch the text box, uh, manually input your uh, info and it'll automatically calculate um, the data fields. And if you have a question on any uh, one of these uh, calculators, just click the upper right question mark and there'll be a detailed instructional page. So there's the ballistic data. Um, you have the arrow FOC, the stabilizer wizard, which is pretty nice. Uh, if you're a competitive archer, what you wanna do is you wanna set your stabilizer bars to where it feels just right for you. Then you're going to go to the stabilizer wizard you're going to input your your values and you're going to get uh, two different values you're going to get front to back balance from grip percentage um, a positive number it means you have a forward heavy bow a negative number means a rear heavy bow and uh, you're going to find out what balance from grip percentage is right for you and you can lock that percentage and then you can adjust the other values if you want to raise your total rig weight you can lock that percentage, raise the weights, and it'll tell you what to put on the front bar and the back bars while keeping that balance just perfect for you. Now, the V-bar balance is in case you shoot a V-bar, um, you want to input the values of the V-bars uh, when it's just right for you, and then you're going to get what we call the lean percentage. Now, a positive lean percentage is left heavy for a right-handed uh, archer or a left-handed archer, um, and a negative uh, lean percentage is a right heavy. But what you want to do is find out what yours is, and then you could um, you can lock that value and adjust the total weight. So the bottom line is this: you're going to find out how your stabilizers uh, perform best for you. You're going to input your values. You're going to find out your balance from grip percentage. And if you shoot a V-bar, your lean percentage, and by locking those values, you'll be able to play around with adjusting the total weight of your stabilizer bars while keeping that perfect feel. So that's the Stabilizer Wizard. Uh, cable Tweaks is a chart. Uh, for anybody that want, needs to get a bow to spec, this is key. It'll give you a cause and effect. Twisting Cables does this to draw weight, draw length let off so on and so forth so this just aids you in case you have forgotten uh, it's a good resource uh, the pin gap and sight tape um, this is in the beta stages but I wanted to include it into the app um, if you follow the instructions you'll see that uh, it says to sight your bone at 20 and 60 yards and then to transfer the 20 and 60 yard pin gaps to a piece of paper and I've got that right here so once you have that down on paper, you're going to zoom in or scale up the sight tape until you can match your 20 and 60. So I'm going to do that now. That's about right. Right about there. Now what you want to do is take a screenshot of that. And then you want to pull up that picture. You want to pull up that picture. And now it's not touch sensitive, so it won't scale it now. And you can put your, um, you can put your piece of paper there and fill in the rest of your values with a pen. 30, 40, 50, 70, 80, 90, 100. 
and then you can now take this piece of paper and go to your site and adjust your pins. It's really a time saver. It's a great starting point, but of course with anything you need to take it to the field and make sure that those marks are accurate. So let's go back. That is the uh, pin gap and sight tape. All right, now let's take a look at the archery knot section. Go ahead and tap on archery knots, and you're gonna pull up 10 very useful archery knots that every bow technician should know, along with one bonus one of a bow sling knot. That's something that we came up with. And if you have enough D-loop material, you can tie quite the awesome bow sling. Um, to view any one of these knots, just go ahead and click on it. And what you're gonna see is a very detailed instructional page with uh, animated illustrations of how to tie that particular knot along with a very high quality video. And to watch the video, just press play. And you can watch it in portrait mode, landscape mode, and you could uh, even swipe it up if you wanna make room for the text, if you just wanna see the instructions. Um, so that is how to work your way around the archery knots. Next section we're gonna take a look at is the installation section. Just go ahead and click on installations. And we cover pretty much everything and anything that you would want to install on a compound bow along with uh, two tutorials on how to use two different bow presses the specialty archery pro press and the last chance archery easy press uh, we go over parts of the bow and then we go over installing d loops p pipes fixing peep orientation all the way down to uh, installing sights and adjusting your second and third axis just like with the archery knots just go ahead and click on it and it'll pull up the detailed page uh, with illustrations and high quality video. Now these videos will, in the future, they will have a draggable scrubber, so where you could drag to where you wanna be in the video, but currently hey you're gonna to have to tap hey and it'll take you to other parts of the video. So if you wanna move forward, just give it a tap. And then you press play, right in line. Uh, maximize right in line where she landscape be. mode, and that's that. So next, let's take a look at the tuning info. The tuning info section of this app is its bread and butter. Um, we covered everything and anything that you need to know about tuning. This is gonna save you years of frustration. It's right at your fingertips. And every one of these has uh, a very high quality video that's going to aid you in learning and uh, uh, using that tuning technique. Um, and there is a bonus uh, Aeroflight video in here that we actually go over how the different tuning techniques affect the Euro flight and you're going to be able to watch how that arrow reacts in slow motion. Uh, that video took us over three weeks to create and it's uh, I think it's one of the best things about the app. So and we cover everything from paper tuning all the way down to broadhead tuning. Um, didn't leave any stones unturned. Um, this tuning info section is going to help out a ton of people. So the next section that we're gonna look at is the arrow section. The arrow section covers everything from arrow shaft selection all the way down to fletching your arrows. Uh, with the arrow shaft selection, we go over three different uh, archery software programs. Um, and then as far as fletching goes, we cover three different fletching jigs. And uh, there's just so much information here. Uh, you will, without a doubt, be able to build the perfect arrow for either your hunting setup or your competitive setup. And then we have three more tabs. Spine charts is just uh, hyperlinks to um, different arrow manufacturers online spine charts. If you don't uh, have the uh, archery software programs, you wanna just use what the manufacturer recommends, just go ahead and click on that and it will pull up uh, the different online charts, which will definitely get you in the ballpark. And then we have manufacturer info. The manufacturer info section is just a quick way to get the uh, contact info for any manufacturer. Let's pull up Elite right here. And as you can see, you've got uh, their two phone numbers, fax, email, and address. If you wanna call them, if you need to talk to tech support at Elite, just go ahead and click on it and you'll be able to call that phone number. It's very handy, it eliminates uh, many uh, minutes of searching for these uh, phone numbers online. And then the last one is the About tab. <clears throat> That's where we have our privacy policy, uh, license information, and feedback. You can leave us direct feedback from the app, 
um, and we get those messages uh, as soon as you hit submit so it's a good way to talk to us directly um, and if you want to you can also go to the bowshopbible.com uh, to the community or our forum and that is our forum where you can also uh, report bugs or ask questions or suggest desired features so um, hope this walkthrough helped you guys uh, hopefully it eliminated some questions about what you get when you buy the app um, without a doubt this app is going to help a ton of people and the main goal of it is to pay it forward and to help people become more accurate if they're tournament archers or to become more deadly out in the field if they're hunters so hope this video helped and thank you for watching